Welcome to mobile application tutorials. My name's Nigel. In this Flutter development tutorial, we're going to show you how you can reload images using the uh, drawer, such as the example I've got here below. Bring out a drawer and switching between another image widget. And if you look at the documentation here, there will be a link to this documentation. Um, we're on episode number three now. The previous episode, we implemented the pop-up menu. Now we're going to use the drawer to do the same thing, but to do it in the drawer. And then this web article here, if you don't want to watch the video tutorial, you don't have to. The um, code example is here as well. And after the completion of the video tutorial, I will do upload this code to GitHub as well. And each one of these episodes gets released on a weekly basis. So I'll drop across into our Android Studio. And what we're going to do here is conveniently enough, the scaffold widget does provide a drawer property that we can utilize. So above the body, I think, inside the scaffold widget, we'll call the drawer property. Now we'll create a drawer, new drawer widget. And that drawer widget's got a property called child. And that's basically, if we press F1 there, it'll tell us what it's expecting. And it's basically wants a list. So we'll create a new list, new list view actually. And that list view is going to have children and a widget here. And here we can just populate um, just the items we want to go into the drawer. And just for simplicity, I'm going to create um, list tiles. And the list tiles we will give it a uh, icon as what we did before with the pop-up menu so um, we'll call the leading there and it's just a matter of calling the first element in the photos array which is our photo type and that's photos get the first element inside there and we'll select the icon for that and will also requires a title and we can do the same thing by calling photos um, first element there again and we'll just get the title from there okay and that should be enough information supplied to supplied to us to um, populate this element. Um, we do want to set add another two more elements there. So what I'm going to do here, I'll just add a comma there. So what I'm going to do here is just copy this list tile and paste it out twice. And all I need to do is just update these elements here. So we'll place that to one. And um, I'll do the same thing for the list tile down below. Change that to two actually. And that should be all we need to do. So let's do a hot reswap and we should see the hamburger icon appear on the top left hand side of the app bar. And we should see the, um, if I select that, we should see the drawer being displayed. So we'll do a hot reswap. Wait for the hamburger to appear. Hamburger's now appeared, so if I select the hamburger, there we have there the three image items. They can be whatever you want, but just for simplicity, I'm using the same sort of methodology to what we used for the pop-up menu. And we do need to add interactivity to this drawer. In other words, if somebody presses, selects an item, we want it to do something. Unfortunately enough, list tile does give us on tap. It's going to be an anonymous function here. It's not going to have any parameters. And inside this anonymous function is where we can do the work. So we can call um, selected photos and just provide Oops. 
photos and it's just a matter of selecting the first element there semicolon okay we will need to close that as well and to close a draw we call navigator pop with just the context okay and that's all we should need to do so we're recalling selected photo and just to refresh selected photo was implemented in the previous tutorial and that's where we set the current photo element to the latest one and call select state which is basically a reload of the ui a refresh of the ui okay and so we can just basically copy and paste the on tap here and just put it down below the next list tile and the next one down here and just replace the selected element which will be one and down here this will be two okay so let's do a hot swap and see if we can switch uh, switch replace the image widgets Okay, so I'm going to select a draw here and let's select image three. Or was I already on image three? Let's select image two and image one and back to image three again. Okay, and so that's just the implementation of the drawer in this Flutter application. And that completes this Flutter development tutorial where we showed you how you could add a drawer to your Flutter app. Conveniently, the scaffold widget itself provides a drawer property and it's just a matter of us creating a drawer widget to pr provide it to that scaffold property. And it's just a simple matter of just generating our own list view and populating that with list tiles just with the information there. And don't forget we had to add interactivity by calling the on tap to the list tile just with the details of the new photo class and its URL to switch across to the desired image. Anyway, so that completes this um, Flutter development tutorial. Um, if you do have any questions, please note my time is extremely limited and I don't really look at the questions posted to YouTube. If you do desperately require my time, I do provide consultancy, paid consultancy service, services to CodeMentor just to help sustain this YouTube channel and help maintain, sustain me. So if you do require help, you can contact me on Code Mentor above. There will be a link there. Bear in mind that I provide services such as supporting people on their projects as well as teaching people all about Flutter, Kotlin, Android, etc. Anyway, thank you for taking the time for watching this. Bye for now.